advance to tell us more about the butterfly knives. So, tell me about the 63. The 63 is a Bowie style blade in D2 steel, crown spine, uh, kind of a deep clip uh, for aesthetic reasons, but also for those that are uh, like trapping uh, with the, the knife. It is a more of a traditional style T-latch construction as opposed to the old 42 stamp uh, series with the spring latch. Uh, that allows it to be a little bit more compact in the overall length. Stainless handles give a little bit more heft to it. It's kind of a nod back to the old stainless ballets we did in uh, the 45 series. Uh, so when did you come out with this This came out just last, this last year. So it's really, uh, we developed it last year and just started sh shipping at the end of the year. So we're it's new for 2015. And this is the 67, right? Correct, 67. This is a more aggressive tonneau style. It's a recurve. Uh, style tunnel with a real wide uh, front end. Uh, same blade steel D2 blade steel in the uh, same handle configurations. Uh, just for those that prefer more of a uh, uh, modern interpretation of a tunnel. Uh, also in the T latch and the stainless handles. Okay, so tell me the upsides, the pros or cons compared to this one. Okay. So this is our uh, an older model of ours. This is a 41. Uh, so this is cast titanium handles uh, with a spring latch and a clip. So the spring latch, you can see how it functions. Squeeze the handles together, the latch stays uh, out from the blade uh, with that constant spring pressure. Uh, some of the differences in that is you can see the difference in length in the products. So the spring latch requires uh, more length on the end for the spring and for the clearance of the latch. Uh, the uh, old 42 series um, handles were cast titanium, so they're a channel construction valley. So they're completely uh, enclosed on the back side. Um, downsides to castings, you get a lot of manufacturing variants um, uh, because it's a, a, being a casting process. The new version, 62 series in stainless, they're fully machined out of billet. So we take raw steel billets in uh, three axis mill and uh, just hog them out. So every feature on this knife has been precision machined. That also, uh, and going through the traditional T latch, like I said, allows us to cut a little bit of uh, weight. It's what's commonly referred to as a sandwich construction, meaning that they're, it's a semi. So these are two pieces uh, with the blade and backspace of sandwich between them. What this is going to allow us to do as we move forward with this product family is we're going to be able to be a lot more flexible because the casting process means you're tied into this exact look. It's a hard tool machine, so you pour the uh, metal after you do the wax molds. Uh, and so you're limited to what you've tooled up. But with these machine parts, we're going to be able to do anything that we dream up. We can change it in the various materials for stainless steel, titanium, G10, carbon fiber, anything that we can machine we can make this out of. Uh, so it gives us a lot of flexibility to move forward with this product. So with that being said, I'm guessing we're going to be expecting a ton of new variants and new styles and things like that on the market. Absolutely. I'm sure we're all excited to see what this train is going to come up with. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the 67, 63, 42, and the Blade Brothers outfit. As you can see, the newer models are a lot shorter because, as you said, you don't have to have the length on the end because it's a T latch and not the spring latch. So it's, I guess it's just a personal preference on what length you would want to carry or what latch you want.